Hi there, thanks for joining me today. I'm Jackie and today I'm going to show you my third attempt at acrylic paint pouring. So in my first attempt I tried it on a canvas, in my second attempt I tried it on a flooring tile. If you want to check out those videos you can click on the links up above and what I'll show you today is acrylic paint pouring on rocks. This is what I've been really curious to try because I've seen some of these videos online where people have done acrylic paint pouring on a rock and it's so amazing to me. So join me for this video. I hope you find it interesting and I really hope it works. So what I've done here, I've taken six rocks, three of them I've painted with a coat, just a really light coat of white paint, and three I've left as is, just because I'm just learning how to do this. So I'm curious to see what happens. So I'm going to try my silicone oil, put a few drops of silicone oil in each of these colors except for the white. So what I'm using here is titanium white. I have some phthalo blue. You better be careful, I shouldn't have put those on the rack. Some aqua green. Turquoise, I just love the turquoise. And some gold, this is called old gold. You'll notice I'm wearing gloves didn't wear gloves before and it did not work out well. But I'm using all the same colors as I did before because I was kind of happy with the color combination and I thought they're very beachy colors and that's what I'm going for is a whole beach vibe. So I'm going to pour some white. This is just a little bit of each color into the cup and we'll see how this works. Ugh. Now when I did this before I found it a fairly messy process. Kind of got paint everywhere so I'm trying to be a little bit neater this time. We'll see how it goes. So I've got a layer of each of those colors and I'm going to come back in with another layer. I doubt if I have enough paint in here to do all six rocks so I may have to do another pour after this. And I wouldn't use the same cup for, again because that would just muddy the waters so to speak. So now I'm going to, I think I'll start with the biggest rock because that's probably the easiest. And I'm just going to do a little bit of a drizzle back and forth like this with the colors and see what happens. I think I'll do all three of these. And all the leftover paint is just going to run onto the onto the paper below. I put photo paper below because I thought it might be interesting. I might get some interesting patterns from all the drip all the drips. Oh, excuse me. Starting to choke a bit. We're in the middle of allergy season here and it's brutal. There we go. Okay, now I'll try a little one of the white ones here. What's happening here is it seems to be some different things happening on every one. I think I'm going to have an, I'm not probably going to have enough, but I might do a bit of free pour them if I run out of some, some of it. But this one here is mostly white. I'm just experimenting just here, dribbling a little bit more paint in the empty spots. I probably didn't have enough paint mixed up for six rocks. So if you do this, I would suggest having a little bit more paint. And then I'm going to take my straw and just kind of blow on them to blow all the paint together. I 
Now I'm going to try my butane torch and add a little bit of heat to this and see if that helps some of the bubbles come up from the silicone. Oh man, that's interesting. That's working really well on that rock. Creating some really cool texture and patterns. Whoops, there I go burning the paper underneath. Got all these tiny, tiny little bubbles kind of popping through there with, when you put the heat to it. That is so cool. So I think I'm going to let that just flow a little bit and see what happens with it. So the paint has had some time to dry and I'm not 100% happy with the result. They're really pretty cool, but quite a bit of the paint ran off and I think the paint might have been a bit too thin and possibly the mix may not have been quite right. So I'm going to give it another try. I still think these are interesting, certainly not a waste of time, but this is part of the learning process, so I'm kind of excited to try it again. So after the camera was turned off, I did take some of my leftover paint and pour it onto one of my random rocks. I had this rock that was really jagged and flat, and I thought, I'll see how it works on a flat rock, and I got a really interesting result here. I still think the formula that I used for the paint pouring medium didn't work out quite right. It might have been a little bit too thin. Too much ran off, and it's a little bit too thin in spots. So I'm going to try it again, but this is really interesting. So my first attempt on painting rocks I was less than satisfied with, so I'm going to try again. So in this attempt I'm going to try rocks that are a little flatter, so maybe there's less chance that the paint is all just going to flow right off the rock. And I've put a light coat of white paint on it, and I've done a bit of a different mixture with the paints. If this works I'll post my recipe down below so you can attempt to follow it. But the key is, I think my paint was too thin on the first attempt. So I've made the paint a little bit thicker. And I'm going to do the same thing where I will layer the paint. So we'll see how this goes. So I think it's easier to work on a large surface, so I'm going to try the big rock first. And I'm just going to drizzle the paint on getting mostly gold. There? Yeah, that's flowing pretty good, even though I made the paint quite a bit thicker. So it may just have been way too thin on the first attempt. Now I'm going to try the smaller ones. I love collecting rocks when I'm at the beach. And trying to figure out how to paint with them is good. The goal with my art is to take me back to the beach. And these are colors that definitely do that. Wow! Those colors really do flow nicely. And because of the way they were in the cup, they're all coming a little bit different. I'm not going to tilt them or anything, I'm just going to let the paint run and hopefully it won't all run off. Now, because I'm just learning and this is all about experimenting and see what you can find out and it's my way of encouraging you guys to try something new, I'm going to take another rock, haven't put any paint on it, but this one's kind of flat, it's got a nice smooth surface. And I have some more paint in my cups here. So I'm going to try just a bit of free pouring here on this rock just to see. See how this comes out a bit different. So if I put some phthalo blue on there and some white. Gotta have white, right? I think this may have been the, a good plan to use thicker paint. Seems not, it seems to be holding pretty good. We'll see how it does once it's sat for a while. A little bit of turquoise here. A 
a little bit of aqua green, just a little drizzle here. So I'm doing, just trying something different because the cup pour is one thing and the free pour is a whole other thing altogether. And then I want to try and drizzle a bit of gold on top. Now I'm going to play with it a bit by blowing on it with the straw and see what happens. I can see why people kind of practice things before they make a YouTube video. I don't think this is working very well. I think I'll just let those sit and see what happens and I'll get back to you and show you the end result. So I've given these a chance to dry and I'm really happy with the result. The colors are much more intense than on my first attempt. This one is quite amazing. This is the one where I just kind of pre-poured. But this one is so pretty as well. It turned out mostly blues and whites. And then this one's darker and I got all this interesting stuff happening right here. So I'm going to give these a bit of a spray just to seal the paint and to make them, make it preserved a little bit, shine a little bit more. And I will show you some ideas for how to display these really pretty painted rocks. So here I've put the four rocks on a white canvas. I could choose to paint the canvas whatever color I like. I kind of like this display for the rocks. It's kind of simple and understated and it really does showcase the rocks well. I played around with quite a few other ways to display my rocks so I'll show you some pictures of those as well. I really hope this has given you a few good ideas and it's shown you it's okay to try new things and even if it doesn't work out the first time, you can try again. So thanks so much for joining me for this video. And until next time, I really hope you make it to the beach and happy sea glass hunting.